This month is Heat Stroke Awareness Month, and Tulsa Fire and police want you to know that it takes just seconds for a child to lose his life in a hot car. One local family almost learned that lesson the hard way. Freaking out the whole time. I'm like, oh God, he's getting hot. A terrifying situation for a green country mother whose afternoon of swimming with the kids almost changed her life. Kept telling them that he was going to be okay and that somebody was coming to unlock the doors for us to get him out. She says her two-year-old son Lucas became trapped inside her car when the doors mysteriously locked. As the temperatures inside and out climbed to dangerous levels, all she could do was watch. He's, he's starting to whine and cry. He was asking the whole time to get out. It was so sad. These are the men and women who respond to these situations. On this day, during National Heat Stroke Awareness Month, emergency responders demonstrated exactly what happens when a child is locked inside. People don't understand how hot it really gets inside. The group Safe Kids says 26 children in Oklahoma have died from heat stroke suffered in a vehicle since 1998. Three so far this year, including a brother and sister who got into the car by themselves. We just need parents to pay attention. And if you have a small child, lock your car door. Even if it's in the garage, lock the door. Experts say this can be avoided by putting a shoe or a toy in the front seat to remind you about your precious cargo. Putting a teddy bear always in the car seat and then moving it to the front seat beside you will be a reminder that baby is in the back. For Dawn, a record service saved her son, but her message also goes to those who answer the call and save lives every day. They're a godsend. I thank them so, so much. I do. They, they saved my baby.